Steve, Lauren, the word of the night is normalcy. Whether it's fans coming out for a Friday night football game or full classrooms behind me, first thing Monday morning. The roar after a big play. A welcome sound for Leesville Road High senior Jackson Short. We've waited a long time for my senior season. It seems like it's flown by with COVID. You know, everything seems like it's flown by. So I'm excited to get some normalcy, get some fans in the stands. His mom, one of several family members in the stands. It's just awesome. I, I could cry about it because I'm so happy for them just to see them out there now practicing and working out. After more than two years of a combination of hybrid learning, tight restrictions and capacity limitations, the beginning of school next week offering a clean Slate. It has been tough um, in and out of school, um, kids at home, learning at home around the table, but man, they have overcome. Getting to do things that they haven't done and going into classes and sitting beside classmates and getting to sit beside people in the cafeteria will just be an amazing experience for all the kids in high school now. That doesn't mean COVID isn't a concern. According to the American Academy of Pediatrics, 15% of new cases last week were in children, and less than half of grade school kids had received even one dose of a vaccine. Still, NCDHHS reporting the lowest number of new cases last week since early May. The agency also sharing a dip in virus particles found in wastewater, emergency room visits, and hospital admissions. Just distance as much as possible and still enjoy the game. That's what Ken Vereen was doing as he watched his son Aaron, a junior running back for Leesville Road. The joy on his face evident as he took in the cheers and energy surrounding him. Reminds me of a big time college game. <laughs> it does. <laughs> and I get that feeling I want to get on the field. <laughs> and Steve Lauren, we've spoken so much about the return of travel the past few months. That is also included for the summer camp. So vital for recruiting for these student athletes hoping to play at the next level. In Cary, I'm Michael Perchick, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.